so let's have a discussion on motional electromotive force now for this to understand that us take a particular setup say we take a wire over here now above this we put a conduction rod we take a conduction rod now we assume this to be all the necessary movement we assume this to be frictionless frictionless so we apply a magnetic field a uniform magnetic field now this is a conductor now let us name this s r q and p and this is m and this is n so now what is what was magnetic flux for us magnetic flux was b into if this is my length l if this is the rod of say length l and if this is distance x so magnetic field into area that is l length into x so this is my magnetic flux now what was emf emf was change in magnetic flux so if i take this rod x and if i change this x that is i am changing the area now this is of variable length x is of variable length so by faraday's law if i change the area there will be a change in flux and with a change in flux with respect to time there should be induce a emf in this conducting wire so this is how we know as a generation of motional electromotive force and it is given by the emf that is generated is given by minus d of phi into dt now this minus now we are constantly using the term minus over here that is negative the reason behind this is because the minus sign tells us that it is in the direction or it is opposing the change in flux the induced emf is opposing the change in the magnetic field lines or the change in flux and that is why this is the minus so this is actually equal to minus d of dt now since b is constant so this is b l x which is given by the induced emf is given by minus b l b l is constant it comes forward that is dx upon dt now what is dx upon dt the change in the distance with respect to time and this is nothing but your velocity dx upon dt is equal to velocity so the induced emf is nothing but bl into your velocity so this is what we know as the induced emf now we also know if you want to find the work done this is work done is equal to say suppose this is a charge q this is a charge q so the work done is the potential into the charge q that is if i take the charge to be q the work done is q into work done is negative of potential that is negative of potential so this minus minus gets cancelled therefore work done is q b l v and dx upon dt if you look at dx upon dt this is equal to minus v because this is the speed of the conductor and this slowly and steadily it's decreasing so this v if you write it in a proper way emf induced emf is nothing but your b l v b l v so this is what we know that is the induced emf is a magnetic field in the length of the conductor into the velocity with which it is moving this is the induced emf so therefore if you talk about force if you talk about force what you will have is q into electric field plus v into b this is the total 
force that is force due to the electric field and force due to the magnetic field and this expression is what we have derived in our earlier equation so this is nothing but q into e now this is q into e when velocity is zero so when the velocity is zero there exists only the electric field 